So I've shown you the software that I recommend. I'd like to go a little more in depth with a couple of programs to make your computer ultra secure. So let's open up Pigeon and go to the plugins screen. Uh, scroll down to off the record messaging and check it. Uh, this plugin allows you to encrypt conversations between you and the person you're chatting with. Uh, and it only encrypts conversations if both you and the other person have off the record messaging. So check that and then you can close it. And I know Funky Worms has it. Uh, you can chat perfectly normally with people who don't have off the record messaging, but the conversations won't be encrypted. So we'll send, send him a message. And we see that we're generating a private key for for our account. And now we're done. And you see how it went from not private to unverified. Uh, now the conversation with Funky Worms is encrypted. That means that no one else can read it. And we want to make sure that we're really talking to Funky Worms and that someone hasn't hacked his account. So uh, what we can do is there's a method to authenticate the person we're talking with. So we click on unverified and go to authenticate buddy. And we ask him a question that only funky worms would know. And we say, uh, could be anything, but make sure that only funky worms knows it. Or the person you're chatting with. Uh, what is your mom's name? and the answer is Bob. And then we send the authentication and we're waiting for Funky Worms. And Funky Worms gets the message and he's like, oh, my mom's name's Bob, so I'll enter that there and authenticate. And since Funky Worms answered the message right, uh, the status changes to private. So now Funky Worms has been both, our conversations are now encrypted and Funky Worms has been authenticated and the benefit of this authentication is that, uh, for example, if Funky Worms gets his aim hacked and you get a message from Funky Worms saying, hey, send me some money, uh, but he doesn't have OTR, uh, you're, he hasn't been authenticated, or he may have OTR, but he hasn't been authenticated from that uh, computer. So you'll know that Maybe, is this Funky Worms? Is this not Funky Worms? Maybe I should give him a call before I send him money uh, and prevent yourself the headache of sending a hacker uh, money from a hacked AIM account. So uh, that's OTR. Uh, you know, and the benefits other than the authentication and the preventing of hacked AIM accounts is just that all of your conversations are encrypted. No one else can read them except you and the person on the other end of the conversation. So uh, it's a big privacy advantage and something I like to do. So, and off the record messaging can be found here at cypherpunks.ca slash OTR. Uh, it's free and open source plugin for Pigeon. Uh, next, I'd like to show you how to strengthen your Firefox passwords by using a master password. So a lot of people use Firefox to save their passwords for their email and various other accounts. Uh, but it's very easy for someone to walk up to your computer uh, and take a look at your passwords. Well, you can prevent that with a master password. So if you go to Tools and then Options and then the Security tab and click Use a Master Password, and you'll see that a current password's not set, and we can set one. type in the same thing. There we go. Okay, now we have a master password. And now every session where we're prompted for a password for our Gmail account, say, or any other account, uh, it'll prompt us for our master password before inputting that password. 
and uh, as long as you have a Firefox window open then you'll have access to your passwords but if you close all of your Firefox windows and then open it up and need to access another account you'll be prompted for your master password again so it's a good way to protect yourself from uh, people coming by your computer and snooping on your passwords uh, it's very nice if you have a roommate and you like to leave your computer on uh, and you can do the same thing in Thunderbird to keep them from looking at your passwords through your email accounts just go to options privacy passwords and say use a master password and then set master password and it works works virtually the same as in Firefox and they're so similar because they're both made by Mozilla so it's a very similar functionality so uh, that's how to secure Pigeon, Firefox and Thunderbird uh, now I'd like to mention some general safe habits on using the internet which uh, if you visit CTH often you'll see that a lot of people don't follow these recommendations uh, BitTorrent is a great protocol it allows for file sharing uh, both free you know legal and illegal file file sharing and I'm not going to get into the specifics of intellectual property law and what I think about it but uh, it remains that sharing pirated material is illegal and usually not needed so uh, BitTorrent is great for uh, distributing bandwidth cost and sharing you know open source content a lot of people use it for sharing proprietary content but uh, if you're downloading pirated software your computer is going to get infected uh, it's just a matter of time before it happens uh, so I really recommend against using BitTorrent for those practices uh, when I say pirated content this is what I'm talking about where's so uh, you know once again I'm not going to get into the specifics but if you're downloading key gens uh, programs to crack software uh, you really have to think about who wrote those programs uh, those programs aren't open source just like the programs you're trying to crack uh, you don't really know what goes into them and a lot of them are going to turn up as malware and p potentially put your computer at risk. Uh, there's really no reason to because you can check out OS Alt, which is uh, the uh, open source alternatives website. And what you can do is uh, so we'll type in like Photoshop. Okay, so it's we click on Photoshop and it gives you us a description of Photoshop but it also gives us uh, some open source alternatives to Photoshop and the uh, the most popular open source alternative to Photoshop is GIMP uh, and it'll take you to the GIMP website so this is a great site for researching open source software uh, if you're thinking about downloading something that and you have to crack it uh, check out OSALT first. Uh, most open source projects are hosted at SourceForge. Uh, it's just a huge repository of open source software. Uh, you know, some of it's dead, some of it hasn't been developed, some of it's alpha software, but some of it is very mature and very good software. Uh, I definitely recommend using SourceForge instead of just Googling. Uh, for something because Google results can definitely turn up uh, malware and uh, if not malware definitely adware uh, software that's might do what you want it to do but is going to be very invasive into your computer so uh, I think that's going to be it for my video series I hope you enjoyed it I'd like some feedback uh, I hope you've learned a little bit about open source software and how to make your computer faster and more secure. And I'll post these on YouTube and uh, link to the thread on 2plus2.